Here is an interesting question on linearly dependent independent vectors. Question is, the vectors u and v are linearly independent. So that is given to us. Find s if the vectors 1 minus s times u minus 2 over 3 of v and 3u plus sv are parallel, right? So we have got a combination here, different kind, and we need to show that if this is parallel, then what is the value of s, right? So let's try to solve this. Now here the strategy is going to be that we are given that these two vectors are parallel. If they are parallel, they, they, then they are scalar multiples, right? And remember, u and v are linearly independent. They are not scalar multiples, right? Now, let's try to solve it. So that means we have 1 minus s times vector u minus 2 over 3 vector v should be equal to k times a scalar 3u plus sv since they are parallel, right? Since they are parallel. Good. Now let's solve and rearrange the terms u and v. So when we solve for this, then we get, okay, better is to get rid of this fraction. So let's multiply by 3 first. So we get 3 times, we'll write u first here. 1 minus s minus 2v equals to 3 times k times 3u plus s v. And now we can bring all the terms together on the left side. So we get 3u minus 3us minus 2v. And this when open 3 times 3 is 9. So we'll minus 9ku. And here it is 3ks, which will become minus when you bring it on the left side. So 3ksv equals to 0. And now we can combine the terms taking what are the coefficients of u. So we have three terms with u here and their coefficients is 3u, 3 here. And here the coefficient is minus 3s, minus 3s. And here the coefficient is minus 9k, minus 9k times u. And for v, we have these two factors. So the coefficients for v is minus 2. And here we have minus 3ks equals to 0. Now we know u and v are non-zero vectors, right? And u and v are linearly independent. That means this is equal to 0 only if both are 0, right? Now, the, since u and v are independent, this is 0 when both are 0. That's important. Important. u and v are linearly independent, right? That means this is 0 and this is 0. Correct? So that gives us two equations to solve for s. Now, so we have 3 minus 3s minus 9k equals to 0. And also, we have minus 2 minus 3ks equals to 0. Right? So we get these two conditions from here. Now, what we can do is we can find the value of s. Find s. We have to find the value of s to get the answer. So from here, we can calculate what s is. If I divide everything by 3, I get 1 minus s minus 3k equals to 0. And uh, 3k equals to 0. And here, we have minus, we, from here, we can write 3ks equals to 2, right? We have 3ks equals to 2. And on this side, we have to find the value of s. So let's write it, what is k in terms of s from here, and we can substitute in that equation. So that way is we can solve it, right? So let's solve it on the right side. 
So what we have here is 3ks equals to 2 and from this equation we can find what k is in terms of s and then it will be easier for us to solve. So rather we can write what 3k is, right? So we can take this term on the right side and we get 3k is actually equals to 1 minus s, right? So from here 3k is equals to, we can take it on this side and we get 1 minus s. So we are substituting this value here. So we got these two equations. So 3k can be written as 1 minus s. So we have 1 minus s times s equals to 2. And that is a quadratic equation. So we get s minus s square equals to 2. Let's bring all the terms to one side and say 0 equals to s square minus s plus 2. Now this can be factored and we have 0 equals to s minus 2 times s plus 1, right? Now this is possible if we have value of s as equals to 2 or s is equals to minus 1. So we get these two possible values of s for which this condition is true, right? So that is our answer. Now find s if the vectors are parallel. So the s could be either 2 or s equals to minus 1. So that is the answer. The answer is that s is equals to minus 1 or 2. Correct? So that is how we can solve such problems. Thank you.